15 a part a body p of mass 7.5 kg is suspended by two light inextensible strings xp and xyp okay this has been a very repeated question so we have x here we have y here and say p is somewhere here this is body p its mass is 7.5 kg that means the force downwards which is the weight of the body is 75 newtons if the strings are inclined at 50 degrees and 34 degrees respectively that means x is making 50 degrees and 34 degrees is for y downwards vertical okay this is downward vertical so this one is 50 and this one is 34 okay illustrate the information in a diagram and done that this was the first part anything left no number two calculate correct to the nearest whole number the tensions in each string okay so let's give them some alphabets let's give this one as t1 and this will be t2 tension in this wire <clears throat> so uh, there are three of them and nothing is moving that means they are in equilibrium and since they are in equilibrium we can find them by Lamy's theorem so in Lamy's theorem uh, we draw them again so let's draw it again this is T1 this is T2 and this is 75 Newton let me do the rough work here and I will finally write it here so uh, I want for Lamy's theorem I want this angle which will be known to us this angle and this angle then we can use Lamy's theorem so let's focus on this angle first so we need this angle so let me draw a vertical line here so this is 50 degree this angle so this angle will also be 50 degree this is 34 so this angle will be 34 again because they are alternate angles so 50 plus 34 this angle becomes 84 degrees okay now we know this horizontal line will make an angle here which will be uh, 34 is this one so this will be remaining from 90 which is uh, 56 degrees so this is 90 this is 56 total this angle will be 146 degrees similarly a horizontal line here this is 50 this is 50 so remaining will be 40 and this is 90 90 plus 40 130 so groundwork has been done now let's find out Lamy's theorem in Lamy's theorem we use one of the known forces so 75 Newton divided by sine of the angle opposite to it which is 84 degrees in this case and now one of the one unknowns let's use T1 this one divided by sine of the angle opposite to T1 which is 146 and so T1 is the only one unknown here rest we can do cross multiplication this will go and multiply here so 75 sine 146 over sine 84 will be the T1 so I will find it out by using my calculator meanwhile please subscribe to the channel so that I prepare more videos for you in future thank you I got it as 42.17 Newton they are saying to two decimal places right no whole number nearest whole number so the nearest whole number to this is 42 Newtons this will be tension 1 let's do tension 2 and we'll write the same way 75 divided by sine 84 equal to T2 this time and the angle is 130 degrees So T2 just like T1 will be 75 sine 130 degrees over sine 84 degrees and let me use it we got 57.76 and to the nearest hole it will be 
58 newton let's move on to the b part a uniform beam pq of mass 8 kg all right this is the beam which is p q mass is 8 kg that means from center there will be a weight of 80 newton downwards and length 3.5 meters the whole length is from here to here is 3.5 meters it's supported at p and q okay so it's supported here p and q both all right a weight of 120 newton is placed at 1.2 meters from p so this is p and 1.2 meters let's say here is a weight of 120 newtons the center of this beam will be at 1.75 meters half of this so 1.2 meters will be here okay the beam is in equilibrium calculate correct to two decimal places the reaction at p and q all right so let's take p as as pi watt so what will be the clockwise moment it will be clockwise this one 120 newtons and 80 newton these two will have a moment clockwise from p so they will be how much uh, 120 times 1.2 meters plus 80 times 1.75 that half of the length of beam which is 144 plus 140 284 newton meters all right now anti-clockwise will be only the reaction at q which will be upwards here so anti-clockwise uh, q multiplied by 3.5 newton meters all right so for equilibrium they have to be equal so 284 equal to 3.5 q and q will be 284 divided by 3.5 which is 81.14 newton let me see if we have to give two decimal places yes two decimal places 81.14 newtons what about p for p also we can repeat the similar uh, similar process by taking q as pi watt but there is an easier way out we know that downward forces are 120 newtons and 80 newtons which is 200 newtons upward forces are p and q which are p and q which is q is known to us now p plus 81.14 so for equilibrium both of them have to be equal so let's write p plus 81.14 is equal to 200 p is 200 minus 81.14 and that is 118.86 newtons this is p 